Good time, good people. Welcome back to the vlog. It is Wednesday. It is shoulder day. It is, the scale is um, pre-workout weight, 140.4. Look at God when we do it. Um, um, weight is just maintaining. I'm not trying to lose weight, just so we're clear. I'm just trying to get my macros up um, without putting on body fat while I try to take advantage of the small window to add lean muscle mass. That's the ultimate goal right now. I am reversing myself because I can. And, and it's nothing against Justin. Justin's amazing, still amazing, still consider him my coach, but right now just spending that money just doesn't make sense when I can do it myself and do it well. So there's that. Y'all, my Apple Watch is not connected to my phone anymore, and I don't know why, and it's pissing me off. Like, it's, it's connecting during the workout, but to go back and collect that data on the app, it's not there. Um, yeah. Nothing new to report as of right now. Just over here grinding. Oh, this is personal tell y'all. Remember about six videos ago, I bought this Guru Nanda Oral Rinse from TikTok because Savannah bought it. Um, it's still about <laughs> right here. So I'm not using much of it. It is disgusting. It's oils in your mouth and you're gargling it. So um, I'm trying to do the best I can. I can't say that I see a difference. I can't say it tastes disgusting. But I probably don't see a difference because I'm not doing it every day like I should. So I'm going to try to do better because I do want to finish it. I did spend my whole $7 on it, so I do want to finish it. But it's disgusting. So I don't really have a review on it yet. Um, I just remember I'm going to do it this morning, so that's why I'm showing y'all. But yeah, I don't have a review because I'm not doing what I should. It's disgusting. As I have a review, I will let y'all know. But anyway, for now, welcome back to the vlog. Let's see what we get into. Camera's crooked, but push through. So, post workout weight was 139.8. I do not need to be under 140, um, but I'm slightly under, so it's fine. Um, I ate a lot yesterday, but they were all, you know, homegrown macros. I didn't eat out or anything, so they're clean. I had about 200 carbs, like 55 grams of fat and 160 protein. Yesterday, I tried doing the matcha tea right after the gym, and it's just, this morning is 55 grams of fresh strawberries, a scoop of the oatmeal cookie evogen, ice water, and a serving of matcha. This will last me till about 6.20. At about seven o'clock, I'll eat dinner. I mean, breakfast meal one. Um, so, 
Again, the macros I stated I was following is give or take. So if I'm a little bit under, fine. If I'm a little bit over, fine. Especially since the body is body. I'm still, because the scale is scaling right now, I'm not going to drop the cardio. I'm going to keep everything the same this week. And then I'm going to start dropping it tomorrow. I just, it doesn't, I don't adjust what I'm doing based off the scale in the reverse uh, period um, because it's, it's finicky. Especially, um, I'm doing a girl's trip this weekend. So I don't know what my eating is going to be like. So that could go up, whatever. So I'm not worried about it. I'm just going to stay the course and it's just going to be what it's going to be. What else? That's it for now. Cheers. Hey, precious people. So I just got done with round two hour cardio. No, bitch. Don't you start, Alexa or Portia, whatever the bitch name is. Um, so... I am going to call my OBGYN to see if, because I was telling daddy, my mom and brother are like really upset and bothered by this whole hysterectomy thing and want me to get it done ASAP instead of trying to wait till November. And I was thinking just come back when we come back to the States for the holidays, just kind of come back for, and be here for the whole month and get it done then. But that's me just assuming her schedule would allow. I ain't talked to the lady and figured out what she can do, what she can't do. So I told daddy, I'm going to try to get in and see if we can make this happen before I leave. Um, so I'm about to, that's what I'm about to do. I'm about to call the doctor's office and see like, is this something she can do before I leave? If that means we stay in town for the next two weeks or whatever, um, before I can get on a flight, then, you know, so she said. Um, so I'm about to do that. Also, I got to go buy sprouts because I ran out of that bear chicken and get some more of that. And... Um, so daddy is leaving to go i can tell y'all here because by the time i post this you know because instagram you know the killer all the things um daddy is leaving tonight um, i think he's leaving at about four for the airport so i need to get him get home it's 142 so i can see him off um to go see his mom and he'll be back sunday i'm leaving saturday to head to la so um and then i won't be back until tuesday morning so we're gonna be you know missing each other i ordered some pants from lulu um, I was trying to like get them before he got back or whatever because you know I'm taking this budget thing serious like I'm really trying to change my life and live this minimalist thing but I can't be naked so what you want me to do but they're gonna get here Monday <laughs> so he'll see it but neither here nor there I did do a big Lulu dump so you know Lulu is, is my listen that, that's my that's my thing designer sunglasses Lulu that's really my thing what I like to spend money on and massages like which I want me to do um, but other than that, I am a pretty frugal person. Like I have truly changed my ways. I used to be a handbag person, but I don't even carry bags no more. I'm a fanny girl now. Um, now I do love a good designer fanny, but, um, neither here nor there. Um, so I am going to try to make this appointment. I will keep y'all posted on what's going on with that. Um, yeah. Mm. Mm -mm. Did I tell y'all what I weighed this morning? <laughs> this bitch is keep it. I've been so consistent. I'm so proud of her. <sighs> All right. Stay tuned. Good morning, beautiful people. I am back from the gym. I wanted to show y'all. I told y'all the other day I was going to show y'all kind of like what our snack cabinet looks like or what our pantry looks like. Um, again, this is our life. Um... So the top shelf is mine. This is the shelf that has both of our stuff on it, which is like our supplements um, and oatmeal because we both eat that. This shelf is mine. This one's daddy's and then the one below is for our water and stuff. So hold on. So daddy's snacks for the week is Coke Zero, Sprite Zero, rice cakes, this pack of rice cakes, the skinny popcorn, almonds, Premier Shakes, and he has his grits back there. He typically has oatmeal in here and then he'll have some Quest chips. My cabinet has the piece, those of pita breads, which I've had with eggs this week, um, potatoes, my rises, whatever, cream of rice, sugar-free um, syrup. These are my G Hughes sauces in here. We have the PB2s, Premier Shakes, this little almond pack, Sprite Zeros, rice cakes, and that's our snacks. <laughs> and this is how we stay on track during the week. We don't put the shit in the house.
So, this morning I did, so today I have lunch with a friend, an old co-worker turned friend, and um, I was going to make today my high day. However, yesterday ended up being a high day. I will put in here what those macros look like. Um, it did include a flat jacked protein muffin cup and some halo ice cream um, for dessert last night. So my plan is to have my normal, well, what I've been doing this week, which is the um, eat, scoop of Eva Gin with some berries and the matcha tea, and then I'll have a clean breakfast. And then um, the people are coming to do the windshield today, so I gotta get that done. And then hopefully the timing is just right. They're supposed to come between seven and 11. So hopefully that timing is just right to where I can meet her for lunch somewhere about 11, 30 or 12. Um, that's that. So I was telling daddy, so I told y'all daddy was going out of town. So he left last night, headed to Indiana to see his mom. And um, I was like, I typically don't do home services or he's very particular about that as well. Me having anything done with the home when he's not here, because again, people are crazy. You don't know what you're dealing with. could be the killer. I don't need to get a house by myself with him. So for some reason, when I scheduled it, I didn't realize, but this is outside the home. Like they should be doing this in the driveway. So I was like, what if you need to come in and use the bathroom? Dad was like, that'd be a no. Please pee before you come. And I'm like, what do I say? Tell them all the bathrooms are broke. If you don't get what you're going from there, <laughs> something wrong. I'm like, that would be so awkward. I'm like, I guess I could step outside and let him go in. And if you steal, you steal. But you ain't going to kill me in the process. My God. But um, yeah, hopefully the man don't have to use the bathroom. <laughs> Nothing. But that's kind of what's on the horizon today. Um, after I'm going to probably come back, chill for about an hour or two, let the food digest and then go do round two. So I switched my cardio around instead of doing 45 minutes in the morning and my hour on round two. I did an hour this morning. I'm going to do the 45 minutes on round two. So stay tuned for the rest of the day. Walking to the windshield is done. I am walking to fit for the day. Eos to do my cardio, 45 minutes, and then the restaurant is actually down the sidewalk back that way. So I parked down by the restaurant. Perfect timing. So I was thinking I was gonna have to go to the gym late. Jesus, I got my eye. I was thinking I was gonna have to go to the gym late today because I was gonna probably need to let my food digest for like two hours after eating, but nope. Perfect timing. Look at God. Won't he do it? Okay, this wind is out of control. Jesus, fix it.
good people. It is Friday. I'm going to try to do Sana Chronicles here really quick. I have two topics that I have written down in my notes that I want to try to hit on, not in this episode. But one of the things that I, I struggle with is feeling deserving of the life by the grace of God that I've been able to build for myself and literally for myself. Um, so before I go on this tangent, um, if I just get all over the place, the takeaway is um, and I'm not saying I've mastered it. I'm saying just the opposite. I have these moments where I just truly doubt that I deserve the life I live. And not that it's so great or I have so much, anything like that, but that I see friends, loved ones, people around me with this seemingly life of just tr tr trials and tribulations. And I just don't understand. Like, well, how am I so blessed? How is my life so good? How have I never had these type of patches of... Uh, bad decisions, bad luck, whatever you want to call it, but by the grace of God, be clear. Um, I, I just, whatever. So the takeaway is if you don't, if you're that kind of person as well, and you don't have a person in your life to remind you, um, number one, pray on that because God will put those kind of people in your life, in your circle. Or number two, um, there's nothing wrong with therapy um, because sometimes that stems from childhood trauma. Or, um, so whatever. So I'm the kind of person that always have always been a plan B kind of chick. Like if I get out the air force, what is the next year going to look like? Um, you know, what have I done in the air force to build this lifestyle outside the air force? If I have more than one child and I fall on hard times, it's easier to take care of one versus two. Like I've always been a plan B kind of chick and that's how I made a life decision. So I, and this isn't, this, please don't take it with me sounding cocky or anything, but I, I think and I overthink the what ifs of any decisions I make. So just throughout life, I just haven't made bad decisions. I just, um, I've made decisions I regret it, but I've never made decisions that was detriment to my future or my finances or my family or whatever. I just, I don't make bad decisions. And sometimes um, that has cost me relationships when people try to get me to do things for them or be, be there for them in places that I have played out scenarios and I don't see how it serves me or I see how plan B could be this outcome and I, I'm not doing it. And so therefore it has cost me relationships, friendships, has made me the black sheep of my family at times. And so I was telling daddy, like I get so nervous when I think about like, how am I, you know, my plan was always to be able to retire at 50, not saying I would, but be able and financially able to retire at 50 and to be able really to have done it at 40 but to be at this stage of my life in 46 I'm just like how is this just my life and then I'm like okay so now I don't want to have this hysterectomy because you know what if that's the other shoe like I'm always waiting for the other shoe to drop and what I'm realizing is that's because people that love me or that are close to me that should want nothing but the best for me sometimes make me feel like I'm undeserving of the life that I have and so I'm always waiting for that other shoe to drop. And so daddy has to remind me like, no one gave you anything. You grew up in the same environment. You were afforded the same opportunities or their lack of, and you just made different choices with your life. And so everything you have, you've earned. Every degree, every house you bought, you've paid for. No one has ever given you anything. So you are 100% deserving of the life you have the relationships you build the way you are to people that makes those same people be the way they are to you in your life and be that energy that you're looking for what you surround you like these are all decisions you consistently make so you are 100 percent deserving it wasn't luck you didn't luck up on anything you worked hard for everything you have and so the takeaway again now we've got we have four minutes so the takeaway from this is if you if you have these moments just know you're not alone most people do that didn't grow up in a perfect childhood and who grew up in a perfect childhood. So let's just say most people have these feelings, but you are deserving of everything that you have earned, every decision you have made. And <clears throat> it's hard sometimes to relish in that when those around you. Okay, somebody came in. <laughs> Sorry, y'all, I don't mean to keep dragging it out, but just to put closure on that, um, it is it is a it is not a good place to be for a lifetime to not be in a position where you appreciate the life that you've built for yourself. So the takeaway basically is um, make a conscious effort to do whatever is required, whether that be talk to someone, surround yourself with the right people, uh, get closer to God, whatever it may be, 
to be in a position to where you appreciate the life you um, have created for yourself because that is a part of um, you know your peace and being happy and who wants to live a lifetime not being happy you know what I mean so that's the takeaway so round one is done I did 45 minutes of cardio about 15 minutes in the sauna pre-workout weight was 141.6 um, I did have the refeed yesterday or the high day or whatever you want to call it um, so I'm flying out tomorrow so I'm gonna close this video out today at some point see what all I get into before I wrap it up I do have a 11 o'clock um, lash or eyebrow appointment and then I'm gonna do round two after that I'm gonna go ahead and prepare my chicken and um, freeze it here this morning wash pack do all the things because I am flying out pretty early in the morning. I think it's like 7.35. So that means I need to be at the airport by 6.15. So, yeah, or probably about 5 o'clock. Anywho, that's what we're doing. So, talk to y'all soon. I'll be the last one left when the lights go out. I'm down to one last breath, but I can't stop now. We all fall down sometimes, yeah, but that's just life. So cross my heart and hope to die, baby. I was born to fight the fear when I feel like dying. I'm trying to fly high, but I'm not a pilot. Can't deny it. There's some days I feel idiotic. Just a product of a system where you're lucky just to make a dollar. That ain't gonna stop me. All right, beautiful people. Let me show y'all something. So, probably for the last two, three months, I've been seeing this commercial. It's been threatening me with a good time. These little crazy puffs from Little Caesars. And yes, I made it my business to get them today and try them. Um, it was a hot and ready situation, so I feel like they could have been fresher, but trust me, I'm bitches starving. I macro hoarded for these. I've only had meal one was five ounces of rice and four ounces of chicken. And then I had my uh, matcha tea with the scoop of protein and berries. That's all I've had today. So I didn't make it through an hour cardio. I was supposed to do 60 minutes. I did 50. I took two scoops of the fat burner, so it made me a little nauseous. So I didn't want to do it. Um, anyway. I'm going to close the video out here because I want to get this up before we start the prepcation girlcation um, video. It's a girlcation for me. It's a prepcation for everybody else involved. Um, well, they live there, but same thing. They're all in prep. Um, yeah, I thought I had something to tell y'all on this closeout, but now I can't remember. So um, I want to make sure I... I uh, I made it clear when I showed my snacks and stuff because people ask me like what do I like to snack on and that kind of stuff again I'm a salty person but on the weekends we go in we indulge on pizza or ice cream whatever it is we've been craving all week or whatever but we typically just get a serving size like we don't just enough to finish it over the weekend and be done with it and we just keep it clean during the week that is literally that's just that's kind of how we normally do but he um you know in the off season however when I just get fat I'm just going off the rails because my training, like I said, never stops. But I just was thinking in the gym during my cardio that I've only had two days off from the gym this year so far. And that was show day and the day before. That's it. That's that's normal for me, though. But I thinking about the fact that I'm going to have my hysterectomy earlier than later. I was thinking about doing it in November, but now I'm going to try to get it done sooner. Um, I really don't have time to take a days off the gym. Only because I know I'm going to miss it so much and I'm going to have to be off like six weeks. But, so I have my appointment, my ultrasound, and then right after, at 10.30 on the 15th, and then right after that, she's going to do my surgical pre-op appointment, and we're going to set the date. Because I've had, I have July 4th plans, and we're kind of ready to leave and go ahead and come back, I think I'm going to schedule it like the first week after July 4th. And so we'll probably go to Mexico, bitch, get it together, and then, um, come back get it done rest a little bit and then go to panama after that so i think that's kind of what me and daddy discuss would be best um what else um, um um i think that's it for now um yeah daddy's been maintaining his five pounds out from peak week weight for a year since his last show i'm trying to get on his level as far as dedication my god but so far so good so far so good yeah anyway I'm going to go ahead and close this video out as usual. Thank you guys so, 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 so much for all the support. 
um, the comments, the subscribes, the um, sharing the channel, all the things. Um, again, if there's anything that I'm not showing that you guys would like to see, please feel free to mention that and I will do my best to share that. Um, I feel like I pretty much give y'all my whole life, but if there's something y'all feel like y'all missing, let a girl know. Um, yeah. Okay. Until next time, the next vlog will be a vacation vlog in LA. Talk to y'all soon.